Hello and welcome to the Office New Blog. My name is Kyle Pugh. So many of you have signed up for my recent course, Advanced Excel Functions with Index and Match. And I first off, I really want to thank you uh, for those of you that have signed up for that course. I've got a pretty decent response for it and it's only been out for a few days. So thank you for that. Now, because of the response that I've had to it, I've decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put out another video, just something short, that's going to give you another example of using the index and match function. So I put together a little example here. I'm gonna supply the file so that you can practice along with me or after you're done watching the video and given your blown mind with what the index and match can do for you, you can download the file and you can practice yourself as well. So before we get in there and take a look at what index and match can do for us in this scenario, let's talk about what the scenario is and then we'll bring up the solution. So again, open in front of you, I've got the example file. It's called, ooh, and I gotta, I gotta retype that. It's called two-way lookup, T-E-O-2. Do you know you can spell it that way? Two-way lookup, zero, one. So make sure you download that if you'd like to follow along with me. Now in here, I've got a simple little table, nothing big. It's got some regions over on the left. It's got some quarters along the top. And then at each cross section of those regions and those quarters, I've got some sales figures, some currency values here. Now, what I'd like to have happen here is I wanna make this a little more interactive. I wanna supply a means for my users to be able to look up information from this table. Now, once again, it's not a very big table, but it's gonna get the purposes done for what we need here. But this could be a much larger table. It could be several more rows. It could be hundreds of rows. It could be hundreds of columns, if not thousands in any direction. So I wanna make it easy for my users to look up information within this table. Now, over on the right-hand side of the table, I've got a little interactive interface for our users to go to. Here, they could pick a region. Right below, they could pick a quarter. So if I go into there, I got a nice little drop down. This is just using the data validation feature inside of Excel, where they could pick a quarter, or excuse me, pick a region. Say I want West. Now for West, I'd like to see quarter three value, right? So I'd look over here, there's West, there's quarter three. So at the intersection there, right, I wanna know what's inside of that spot right there. Well, as users are picking which region, which quarter they want, we're gonna create a little calculation right here. What is that, I5, using the index and match to perform a two-way lookup. Now, what do I mean by two-way? Well, we need them to be able to look up the region, there's one, and we need them to look up the quarter, there's two. A two-way lookup, both inside the row and the column. Take a look, this is how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna drop into I5, this is our sales cell here, and I'm gonna bring in the index function. So I'm gonna say equals index, I'm gonna open up my parentheses. Now to help us out, I'm gonna go into the little FX button here. With the index and match, if you haven't, haven't tried it out, I know many of you have, especially from taking my course, uh, there's two different flavors, or two different ways you can use the index and match function. We're gonna run with the first one, array, first argument, row num, and column num. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, this opens up my function arguments for the index function. Now, ultimately, ultimately, I wanna be able to return the sales right here. So for the array, the first argument of the index function, I'm gonna go grab C3 down to F, what is that, F, six, right? C3 to F6. That's gonna be our sales. That's where I wanna pull data from. So that's the array that I'm gonna be looking up data within. Now, I renamed it. I used a name range, so C3 to F6 is actually called sales. I gave it a name. Now the row num, right? Well, it's asking me, well, which row do you wanna get from that array? Well, you know what, I don't, I'm not gonna give you just a number. You know, if I did this, if I said a number one here for row num, then it would always be looking at north because north is in the first row of that range. All right, so I don't wanna supply it with that, but I need to look up which row, which region the user picked. 
So to make this a little more dynamic, we're now gonna bring in the match function. Now with the match function, I need a little bit of help here to fill out its arguments. So I'm gonna go above and I'm gonna select match. So now the first thing that the match function needs is what are you looking for? What, what do you want me to find? They call it the lookup value. So for the lookup value, I'm gonna go grab I3, right? Where they're gonna pick the region. The lookup array, this is where it's gonna look the information up. So I'm gonna tell it to grab B3 to B6, and I renamed that, I called it regions. And then the match type, I want it to find the exact match, so I'm gonna put a big old zero inside there. Now you can see here, with West inside of that array, using the exact match, it returns a three. It says, I found West, it's inside of the third, there's one, two, and three, the third row of that data set, of that array. So there's our first part within the index function using the match. Now I'm not quite done yet. I need to go back to index, because right now we're doing a one-way lookup. We're telling it just to look for a row and give me back what you find inside that row. But remember, we have two criteria here. We have two things that the user's potentially gonna be looking up information through. I need to use the column num now. If you took part in my index and match advanced functions within Excel course, we primarily used the row num argument within the index, but now we're gonna use both of them. So inside column num, I'm essentially gonna do something very similar to what I did inside the row num. I'm gonna bring in another match, because I don't know which column that's based on which quarter they pick. So for match, I'll go up into the match function, the lookup value, what are we telling it to look for? Well, it's gonna be I4, Q3. Where is it gonna find that? It's gonna be up here inside of C2 to F2, or I, I renamed it, called it quarters. And we wanna do an exact match, zero. All right, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go back to my index. We got everything there. We're gonna look up inside of the array called sales, which is all this data here. We're gonna use a match to tell it which row based on what they chose in the region to pull back and then tell, use a match inside the column num based on the quarter that the user chose. And that's it. I'm gonna hit okay. And it should give us back for West quarter three Look at that, 98,524. If I change the region, I'm still in quarter three. Well, let's say I go to north. So now for north, quarter three, we got back 91,014 and 42 cents. That's it. A little bit of magic with Excel's index and match functions and taking full advantage of the index with all of its arguments. So again, this exercise file is available to you. I'm gonna put it in this blog post. You can find a link to it. Download it, try it out, and feel the power of the index and match function. Thanks for joining me.